And today, I'm going to explain the 20-20-20-90 rule, a simple formula that reveals how your erection recovery cycle changes with age, why that matters, and how you can use this knowledge to protect both your performance and your confidence. Before we dive in, do me a quick favor. Tap the like button if you're glad someone is finally talking honestly about this, and let me know in the comments where you're watching from. I love seeing men from all over the world sharing this journey together. And of course, don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a men's health video every week. Now, let's bust some myths. The first thing I want you to know is this. Masturbation does not cause erectile dysfunction. That might surprise you because a lot of men notice that as they get older, their erections don't return as quickly after orgasm. They start to wonder if they've damaged themselves or if they're overdoing it. But what they're really experiencing isn't ED at all. It's something called the refractory period, the natural recovery cycle after ejaculation. Here's what happens biologically. After orgasm, dopamine drops. That's your pleasure and motivation hormone. At the same time, prolactin rises, a hormone that signals your brain and body it's time to rest. Your nervous system shifts gears from excite and perform to recover and recharge. This combination temporarily shuts down your ability to get another erection. That's not failure, it's recovery. So if you notice that you can't go again right away, it doesn't mean you're broken. It means your body is wisely pressing pause. But here's the twist. This recovery period changes dramatically with age. And that's where the 20, 20, 20, 90 rule comes in. For those of you new to this channel, hi, I'm Dr. Narita. I'm a urologist, and I've spent the last 12 years helping men protect their sexual health, their confidence, and their relationships. And in my clinic, I hear this concern all the time. Doc, I think I have ED because I can't perform like I used to. What I explain to my patients, and what I wanna share with you, is that most of the time, this isn't dysfunction. It's biology and age colliding with unrealistic expectations. Once men understand how their bodies actually work, the anxiety melts away. And instead of panicking, they learn how to work with their biology so they can keep enjoying intimacy with confidence. So let's go through this step by step. Think of these numbers as mile markers of recovery. One, in your 20s, about 20 minutes. If you're in your 20s, your refractory period might last only 20 minutes. Biologically, testosterone is high, blood vessels are flexible, and recovery systems are fast. Emotionally, this creates a sense of invincibility. You feel like you can go again almost instantly, fueling confidence. Practically, if you're 20 and ready for round two after 20 minutes, that's normal. But it also sets up unrealistic expectations for later in life. Two. In your 40s to 50s, 20 hours. Fast forward a couple of decades. By your 40s or 50s, recovery might stretch to about 20 hours. Biologically, hormones shift, nitric oxide production declines, and blood flow takes longer to rebound. Emotionally, this can feel like a loss of masculinity, especially if you're comparing yourself to your younger self. Practically, if you try to go again the same evening, you may feel weaker erections. Not because something is wrong, but because your body simply hasn't finished recharging. Three, in your 70s, 20 days. By the time men reach their 70s, the refractory period can stretch dramatically, sometimes close to 20 days. Biologically, vascular flexibility decreases, hormone reserves are lower, and recovery systems slow down. Emotionally, this can be frustrating if you expect the rapid response of youth, but it's important to remember this isn't dysfunction. It's the new rhythm of your body. Practically, trying to push past this recovery period can make erections feel weaker or less reliable. Respecting the cycle means avoiding unnecessary disappointment. Four, into the 90s, the 90 rule. And yes, if you're fortunate enough to reach your 90s, recovery can take 20 days or more. Biologically, the system is doing its best with limited reserves. Emotionally, while the frequency may decline, intimacy doesn't have to. Many men and their partners discover new ways of connecting. Slower, gentler, but deeply fulfilling, practically. This is where understanding the cycle really matters. What seems like ED is actually just extended recovery time. Now that you know the 20, 20, 20, 90 rule, how can you use it? 
The key is this, don't mistake recovery for dysfunction. Instead, support your body so it can perform at its best within its natural rhythm. Here are my top strategies. Prioritize deep sleep. Biology. Sleep boosts testosterone, repairs blood vessels, and balances your nervous system. Emotion. Good sleep gives you energy, calmness, and confidence. Practical tip. Aim for seven to eight hours and protect it like medicine. Exercise regularly. Biology. Movement improves circulation and nitric oxide, which are vital for erections. Emotion. Exercise gives a sense of vitality and control. Practical tip, even a 30-minute walk daily helps. Eat smart. Biology, nutrient-rich foods lower inflammation and keep arteries clear. Emotion, eating well reinforces a sense of taking charge. Practical tip, lean proteins, healthy fats, colorful vegetables. Manage stress. Biology, chronic stress raises cortisol, which lowers testosterone and blunts arousal. Emotion, anxiety can block arousal signals no pill can replace. Practical tip, breathing exercises, meditation, prayer, or simply unplugging. Consider natural support. Nitric oxide boosters like watermelon extract with L-citrulline. Performance blends with herbs like tonkat ali, fenugreek, nettle root, icarian. These aren't magic, but they can help your body function more efficiently. Gentlemen, let me say this as clearly as I can. Needing more time to recover as you age does not mean you are broken. It does not mean you're less of a man. Your body is simply asking for more patience. And when you respect that rhythm, you'll avoid unnecessary frustration and build a healthier relationship with intimacy. I've seen men in their 60s, 70s, even 80s rediscover deep, fulfilling sexual lives, not because they forced their body to behave like it was 20 again, but because they learned to work with it. So can masturbation cause erectile dysfunction? Number. But ignoring your body's recovery cycle can create the illusion of dysfunction. The secret is to understand the 20, 20, 20, 90 rule, respect your biology, and support your health with smart choices. If this video gave you clarity, do me a favor. Hit subscribe so you don't miss future episodes where we break down the myths and give you practical solutions for men's health.